No, on a serious note, okay. um, you believe you don't believe that Dallas should have the the Dallas, the city of Dallas, its chamber of commerce, uh, and ancillary chambers should have the ability to make a determination as to whether or not they want to have banned the box. You believe that that should be done here at the state level? I do. I believe that uniformity across the state for the applicant and also for the employer, it should happen in this building and that the city of Dallas and the chambers for the Metroplex would come together here in this building along with other major cities and all those interested stakeholders across the state to be a part of a hearing where you and I together could bring reform and make these decisions as advocates on behalf of our districts. Yes, so, that's what I believe. Central okay, Dallas. so if that's, if that's the case, then why don't you pull the bill down and let's have an interim study on it and, and invite them here in order to have that discussion as opposed to this particular bill telling them if it passes, first of all, uh, that they no longer have the right to look at that particular policy within that specific geographical area. Given the fact, as you well know, that we have over, what, a thousand school districts? And with that, we recognize that one size doesn't fit all, right? Even with your, even with your Marshall's program. And your, your argument was, and I believe, because I supported it, that one size doesn't fit all. And that's, that was your argument for passing the Marshall's bill. And my argument here, in terms of this particular bill, one size doesn't fit all. And so from that vantage point, we should give local jurisdictions the opportunity, along with their chambers of commerce, to have this particular policy. Well, and I, I understand, and I'll work with you on that. If we need to customize uh, variations within the policy that we would approve at the state level, that would be a unified framework across the state where businesses here and those that are considering relocating here from other states would understand that if we did customize it uh, for certain situations, for certain communities, all of those stakeholders would be here and a part of that process, uh, a part of the committee process. They'd be weighing in, they'd be working with us to make sure that the way that we customize that would not be through an amendment uh, rifled through on the floor on the day this bill is considered, but that it would be measured and it would be thought through and that we could honor that. But first, we'd have to decide as a body, do we want the policy to start with? And I would say today uh, that uh, it's better for the business climate in Texas, which ultimately is better for those that need a job, uh, to remain strong and for us to provide that that uh, uniformity and that predictability by making sure that city by city by city, those differences aren't in place until we consider that here in this chamber. With that, uh, Mr. Uh, President. Wait, 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 hold oh, on, okay. we're, not, we're not finished. Oh, let's, let's keep going. We're not finished. All okay. right, I'm with yeah, you, I, I, I yield. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you've already yield, I, okay, so let's, we're having this debate. What, uh, what business organizations have come to you in support of this bill? Well, we've got a long list. I could, I could give you some examples. Give me some yeah, examples. Let, keep, keep, uh, keep going with your, your uh, dialogue, that's and I'll the pull question. that. I'll give you some examples. Well, I just, I, that's the question. I'm very specific.
Do you have it yet, Senator Creighton? What? Just about. Okay, Senator West, um, I, I can share uh, the list that I have with you of the feedback that we've received. It's, uh, I mean, it looks like hundreds are on the list, but uh, what, what in particular is there a business you're looking for in particular? I just said hundreds, and based on what I'm reviewing, you have um, the VP of Texas, North Texas Commission, um, the Deputy City Attorney for San Antonio, Austin, and Fort Worth. Senior Vice President of Advocacy. You have Against It, City of Austin, Texas Computer Action, and Texas State Director of Human Rights Campaign, Houston, Texas. Is that correct? That's who testified, that's who testified on the bill. Uh, e yes, I, I heard you say what businesses have contacted us. I didn't know. No, that's not say. what I said. I said what businesses were uh, supportive of it. If, if I did say that, I just want to make certain that I correct that. And those were the businesses that were supportive of yes, the so legislation. There's a for and against in committee, and then, right. there, and then there are a coalition list that we have that are, that are in support of the four bills in my package. And so we have both. We have, uh, you know, large employers, um, multiple chain employers in the Austin area, like County Line Barbecue, down to single shot franchisees from Austin to San Antonio to... They're in favor of the package of the bills or this particular bill? This, this bill in particular. So Okay, uh, well, I appreciate it. I'm not going to take up any more time. I just think that if we are serious about reintegrating people back into society and reducing recidivism, that we should give them an opportunity to have a job and that, that we shouldn't prejudge them just by their um, plight in life. Uh, uh, situated as it relates to well, going to prison. That, and, that's just my position. And, and I, I appreciate uh, the questions and the very valid concerns. I know we've had very good bills on the subject um, through uh, Dean Whitmire's committee, and I'm certainly committed to continue to work with him as Chair of Criminal Justice and you as well, Senator West, to uh, figure out the best way possible to provide those second chances while we uh, protect uh, the business climate in a uniform way and uh, I, with full respect I'll keep working with you on that uh, for uh, to accomplish those goals together thank you very much Senator Taylor for what purpose yeah, I'd like to move that the monotone duet between Senators Creighton and West be reduced to writing a place in the journal oh wait wait in light of our earlier discussion maybe we shouldn't do that <laughs> 